Guys, let's take a quick look here at Phantom. Uh, Phantom, if we're looking at this on the hourly time frame, I did draw a trend line. And you can see that basically it's maintaining this trend line. And this is unlike Bitcoin. Now, let me show you Bitcoin real quick, because Bitcoin on the hourly time frame has now broken down from its hourly trend. And this just happened, well, about maybe, what, six, seven hours ago? And uh, at the moment, if we zoom in, you can see that Bitcoin is losing this Fibonacci. So this is not a good thing to see, guys. Um, you know, as I've said in previous videos, uh, the next support basically is down here at 52.2. So, yeah, you can see we tried to, you know, break through this, this uh, trend line, but we didn't manage to hold it. It fell back into this you know zone basically and um, then it broke down from this upward sloping trend line so really not good now let's talk about phantom a little bit more um, phantom right now has support sitting around 45.5 cents um, as long as it maintains this trend line though uh, i believe it will keep going higher um, if we lose that trend line, then yeah, this 45.5, you know, uh, support here, this daily support uh, should hold for a little while. But if you were to lose that, then your next support is down here basically at 34.5. Now you can see we didn't make it down that far uh, in this dump. So, you know, there could be another uh, support somewhere, but uh Maybe we have some support down here at, at 38 cents, but I'd have to go all the way back in the charts to really look. Um, but anyways, guys, let me put this on the four hour time frame. Now, again, you are seeing a W pattern like many other charts are showing, and it has broken this neckline. So that's a good thing. It could be coming down to retest this. And, you know, after that, you expect it to get a bounce. So if it gets a bounce, 57.5 is that weekly resistance. So that's going to be a little bit stronger resistance. So let's see if it's doing that. Uh, hopefully it is. Uh, hopefully we don't lose this trend line and this support. And uh, yeah, going back to Bitcoin real quickly, you know, we need to get back above this Fibonacci and basically break through, you know, this, these trend lines. And then 60.2 is the next resistance, is daily resistance. And the next weekly resistance is at 61 point, let's say, 3. So basically, on the economic calendar, by the way, um, today there wasn't too much. Uh, as you can see, we didn't really have too much except for a couple of speakers. Um, but, you know, let me go to uh, this week. Then you can see a little bit more. So let me scroll down to Thursday. Uh, Thursday or tomorrow, basically you have the uh, core CPI, you got continuous jo continuing jobless claims, you got retail sales, um, you do have like Cleveland CPI, you also have Bostic speaking, and uh, on Friday basically is the main event. Uh, now you do have like Germa UPI, you got French CPI, uh, you do have Spanish CPI and things like this, it's kind of important. You've also got imports and exports in China, and you know, later in the day, you have PPI in America, and uh, you do have the Michigan expectations as well a little bit later. So anyways, guys, that's what I got for you on Phantom and Bitcoin. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.